In the last 30 minutes, Portland City Council unanimously approved a resolution to ban the use of open air drug use on Portland streets. This after just one reading on the ordinance, given it's an emergency. It's in response to the record number of overdoses and drug related deaths happening across the city. Let's get right to Blair Best, who's outside City Hall. Blair, what more can you tell us about this? Laurel, this ban just passed city council with unanimous support and public testimony lasted for roughly two hours, with some people arguing against the ban, saying it's harmful to criminalize addiction, while the majority of people who showed up today are for it and say it should have happened sooner. Now, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is adding this ban on the public use of controlled substances like fentanyl to an already existing ordinance that prohibits drinking alcohol in public. This fills a significant gap in how the city handles the fentanyl crisis, seeing as there are currently no laws against using fentanyl in public. This proposed ban aims to change that, at least in Portland. Now, violation of the ban would include a fine up to $500 or up to six months in jail. And it's important to note here that Mayor Wheeler talked of introducing a similar ordinance just a few months ago, but changed his mind at the last minute, pointing to a new state law that makes possession of certain amounts of fentanyl illegal. However, using drugs in public was never addressed until now. And of course, there's work we all have to do here uh, as the city council and collectively uh, today we're doing one more thing that demonstrates we're willing to do our part. I vote aye. The resolution is adopted. Now, city commissioners have said repeatedly tonight that at the very least, they hope this will send a clear message, and that's don't come to Portland to use drugs. And as of right now, sending a message is all this ordinance does. Even though it passed city council tonight, a decades-old state law prohibits cities from enforcing such a ban. But Portland City Council is determined. Tonight, they also passed another resolution that would lobby lawmakers in Salem to allow cities to enforce such a ban. But that change won't happen until next year's short legislative session or until a court gets involved. Laurel.